Having had some requests to run Shields up with PC tools, this is what I've done. Now on this computer I've got online armor, so I've actually run the program on two different computers with online armor and PC tools. Now the first one to do is to click file sharing and this will attempt to connect to your computer port 139 does not appear to exist and NetBIOS it cannot connect to which is a good sign. Common ports uh, it takes a few seconds as you can see just under five seconds to profile it and it's passed with stealth analysis so it's refused all access to my computer this is with online armor and there's no evidence that a port or computer exists at this address. Now the internet service ports, this will scan the first 1056 TCP ports and it will probe them and this will take about a minute but it also depends on the speed of your connection and how busy the servers are and as you can see it scans down through you may find that port 139 is blue if you use instant messaging clients and this is quite normal so it's nothing really to worry about there are other tests you can run uh, PC flank and you can also look at the Matusek proactive firewall security challenge which tests each of the firewalls and it gives you an idea as to how effective they are or how ineffective they are. But this is a good way of checking hardware and software firewalls. So if you use a router, uh, it will also check the wide area network, the WAN settings. Uh, in this case, it's passed, even though I'm using a remote access program to connect to that particular machine. So this is quite a good sign. You know, there is a little bit of information about zone alarm there. And it shows that port 113 may show as blue. Now, on the second machine, PC Tools Firewall Plus, I've enabled the stealth mode. And again, we go through the file sharing. Again, this shows that port 139 does not appear to exist, it's fully stealthed, and the probes are unable to connect with the NetBIOS. The common ports, again, this has passed. Uh, there's not a single packet that was received from my system as their probing tests tried. So on that score, it's pretty good. If, as long as you've set your firewall correctly now hardware or software firewalls you can check them with this and you can get the results all service ports again it will scan the first 1056 and you can click over or hover over any of the grid to find out what each one is and what they do you know it only takes a few minutes to run this test checks the security of your hardware or software firewall and whether it leaks or whether it doesn't. Ideally you don't want it to leak and especially if you're using routers uh, this can help you to pinpoint any areas that you need to check you know ensure that you have got the settings correct that your router is not visible and everything is set up and configured the way it should be to block access to others outside of your own network. It really is very simple, you know, you just head on over to GRC, the link's at the bottom of my website page on this article. Uh, as you can see again, this one's passed, so that's two machines that communicate with each other and they are completely stealthed. You know, it does explain uh, the wide area network security which is built into many routers and gateways. 
So head on over, check out your firewall, see if you've got it set up right. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.